Hey, Average Guy Cigars, this is William. I'm out here tonight reviewing a Devil's Weed cigar. I believe it's a Robusto. I didn't particularly care for these cigars. I'm going to do this review a little bit differently than I do our normal review. I am unable to find this specific strain, line, whatever you want to call it, of tobacco online. I found one that's kind of close. It's the Devil's Weed, Ecuadorian, Connecticut. So... I believe the origin of tobacco is the same for both of them, the Dominican Republic there. But I could not really recommend this cigar to anybody. It's a fairly cheap cigar. I mean, you're talking $2 a piece, according to the Robusto right here. But I just can't recommend it. It's got a really odd flavor that I don't I don't enjoy. I prefer more of a tobacco-y tasting cigar, and this is more of a super light to me cigar that tastes a little bit like coffee before you cut it after you cut it it doesn't really taste like anything really not that i've gotten at least so i'm gonna cut it light it and come back at you with some more stay tuned so it sounded like at the start of this video that i was just beating up on this cigar this poor little devil's weed cigar I'm not. It's it's not a cigar I enjoy. I would not buy any more of these cigars on purpose. So there's a couple of reasons behind that. The first being this is not smoking evenly. None of mine has smoked evenly. The second reason is I don't really care for the flavor. I prefer more medium to full bodies, and this is like a mild, maybe mild medium, but it's not it's not full enough for me. I did get some of the coffee flavor that it claimed to have at the very beginning, right before I cut it and right after I cut it, but. It's not here anymore, and I'm not even all the way down the cigar look. Um, not even a half inch in, and it's already stopped. Or maybe, maybe the quarters of an inch in. But I feel like for the price, you're paying, like, you get a pack of 20 for 45, 50 bucks. So I feel like you can just do better than that. I feel like the factory seconds from Nicaragua that a lot of places have, the overruns are a lot better. I just, I cannot recommend these cigars. I'm going to smoke mine up when I'm doing yard work or something. I don't know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even give these to friends that want to try something different. I would, I would never recommend these cigars. So that's all I got for this video. If y'all like it, please put like at the bottom of the screen. Send me any comments or questions you have. We love hearing from you. Subscribe to us if you haven't already. Check us out on Facebook at the Average Guy Cigar Group. And y'all stay smoky out there.